world atlas of tea from the leaf to the cup the world's tea explored and enjoyed by Chrissy Smith so you are looking at uh, you get I don't know if it's in paperback but it's hard book with that weird like to me I don't like the total plasticky feel of like the dust jacket so like yeah it adds extra protection considering this is like a library book but I don't like that <laughs> so again you are looking at different like the title suggests you are going from different continents different countries and looking at information from growing uh the farmers growing to the it coming to your house and you drinking it so there are a few parts to it so you got some tea basics so you are looking at information about like the plants cultivating and you are getting some really nice like photography which like with a few different tippets in there talking about varieties and you do get images like this talking about like talking about them this one is what the frig was this talking about but anyway <laughs> so you do get like little boxes of like extra information along with it is formal setup of information it's not fully in-depth you are getting quick information about different things like tea blends and so another artwork so harvesting sometimes so sometimes you do get like below this is what the fur like painting or photograph is about and you get like harvesting information and once in a while you do get the illustration of how things are done but the majority of the time it is them showing you different photographs of photographs or different images like this painting yeah so and some like some of the information is a visual representation of what they are talking about like through land sea yeah by land by sea and how it all worked out how like yeah they can do this they could have explained it a whole like this whole page could have been all about going by land going by sea and they could have uh, just had them like five paragraphs but there is that visual aspect that people would want to see yeah you they go they go zigzagging and then you go here 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 and whatever so and you get kind of that um same setup for all the type of information that they are presenting to you like different types of pots and infusers so and so blend tea blending techniques uh some like you don't get so again some visuals of how you would do it like yeah they talk about it but sometimes you need that visual and then you got a few blending ideas right there like iced tea so like ideas slash recipes and then you go into the continents and this is where you get like a map showing you like either the continent the country or like the region and then you get the country's name and information like what kind of tea grows there and 
exports, imports, some information, and that continues on through that in entire section. So you got like India, sub subcontinent, and then yeah, and that continues on through all the regions, continents of tea growers. So like in the Indonesia, uh, China, Iran, so forth. And so it it ends with Argentina, and then like this is the last page. There's like no type of conclusion or anything. It just goes back to the glossary. So and then goes to the index. But yeah, again, this does hold not the end all be all of information for how tea gets from field to cup. But it is a good introduction to different aspects if you are wanting to learn more about the cup of tea you drink or like how it is brought into your home. So it's just another look of information about the process of tea. Sorry. So World Atlas of Tea, From Leaf to the Cup, The World Teas Explored and Enjoyed by Carrie Smith. Happy readings!